What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike Sieben. Welcome to the channel where we talk about everything Amazon FBA. In today's video, we're talking Amazon A to Z, the step-by-step -step guide in order to get you set up and selling on the Amazon platform. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back. As I mentioned today, I'm going over the seven different steps that you're gonna need before starting your Amazon business. Really quick, if you guys could go ahead and just smash that like button, that helps me out immensely. This helps trigger the YouTube algorithm to tell YouTube that you guys like what you see and this will push more eyes towards the video and towards the channel and then we can get this content out to the most amount of people possible. All right, so you've decided you want to start selling on Amazon but have no idea where to start. So I have some other videos that go over the finding of suppliers, how to find a good product, how to manage and grow your business. But if you've never sold a single product on Amazon and you want to know what the very beginning steps are, this video is exactly what you're looking for. So the first step that you're going to want to go through is setting up a legal entity. So depending on your country, depending on where you are operating from, it can differ. But here in Canada, we can set up a sole proprietorship, which means you operate alone, or you can set up a corporation, which gives you a full legal structure to protect you from things like lawsuits and stuff like that. I won't get too deep or heavy into this because I'm not a lawyer and I'm not a CPA, but I know in the US, for example, an LLC is a fantastic option for people looking to start a brand new business. So I recommend doing just a little bit of research online and maybe consulting a lawyer or CPA if you really don't know on what the best legal entity would be but a corporation in Canada or an LLC in the US are a absolute safe bet and running in the right direction. The second thing that you're gonna need is an EIN or an employee identification number that would be if you're in the US, if you're in Canada, you're gonna need a business number and to register with the CRA. Then again, if you're in a different country, you're gonna to wanna to just call your government and see what the equivalent is. And all these numbers do is register this business that you've now made with the government for tax purposes. At the end of the year, you make some profit, you're gonna have to pay taxes, and this number is what you're gonna use to identify your business to the government and pay those taxes. These numbers might also be asked for by suppliers, so it's just good information to have to give to them and then you can set up accounts that will help you with your business going forward. The third thing that you're gonna wanna have is a reseller's permit. So again, if you're in the US, a reseller's permit essentially just tells your suppliers that you are registered with your state and then that will allow them to not charge you tax when you're purchasing your products. So you can just go on your state's website and register for a reseller's permit wherever you are. If you're in Canada, it's done a little bit differently in that you're going to use your business number and you're gonna pay GST upfront and then get it back via your tax return at the end of the year. If you're in a different country, just look up what the equivalent is of a reseller's permit and make sure you set yourself up for that so you're not paying extra in taxes. All right, now the fourth thing, a business bank account and a credit card. So this is gonna be needed by Amazon when you set up your account, that is gonna be our next step, to be able to get paid out. When you make sales on Amazon, you need a place that you can get paid out for that, and that is gonna be a business bank account. This can be obtained by any bank that you already do your personal banking with. So just contact your bank, tell them that you've made a new business, this is your intent, and then more likely than not, it'll just be some paperwork and then get yourself set up with a proper business account. As well, you're gonna need a credit card. Some banks might just offer a credit card while you're opening up a business account that comes with a credit card or you can't get a business credit card with your bank. You can use a personal credit card. I would recommend separating this personal credit card from your other credit cards solely using it for business. This is gonna make your life a whole lot easier when it comes tax time. But either way, you're gonna need a credit card and you're gonna link this up to your Amazon account as well. So the fifth thing and the probably most exciting thing is gonna be 
creating your Amazon account. Your Amazon account or Amazon Seller Central is what you're gonna use as a link between you and your business and Amazon itself. So this is where you will create shipments to send a product in. This is where Amazon will talk to you about any issues that are happening between customers, you and Amazon. This is where you're going to manage all of your inventory, see information on the inventory as it becomes checked in, where it's located. This is where you're gonna track all of your sales, everything that is going to have to do with your Amazon business from Amazon side is going to live on Amazon Seller Central. All you're gonna do is just Google Amazon Seller Central and your country, click on the link. This is going to take you to a sign up page. You're gonna go ahead and go through all of the information, sign up, give them your personal information, your business information, your tax information, such as the EIN number or your business number, all of that. It's going to be super straightforward, like signing up for any type of account then you're going to link your business bank account your credit card all of those types of things and then create your store name in which you're going to sell through amazon will take you step by step through everything that you need to know another thing is i highly recommend you watch all of the seller university videos this can be found under the performance tab seller university they have put together a masterful list of pretty much everything you need to know about selling on Amazon in Seller Central. So I highly recommend you go through and watch each and every one of those videos once you kind of get to this step. That will give you a ton of information on Amazon policy, how they expect products to be shipped in, all of that kind of good stuff. So go check that out. And then the sixth thing, we come to business email address. So I highly recommend that you start out looking as credible as possible. Having a professional looking email will tell suppliers that you are a real business, that you do mean business, and it just gives you instant credibility whenever you're emailing somebody for your business. So if you don't know where to look to go to do that, I highly recommend you just go to Gmail and purchase what they call the G Suite. I think a basic plan is about five dollars a month for you to keep this and that will assign you a professional looking email that you can fully customize and everything like that so go create one of those and that's what you're going to use to be emailing your suppliers and amazon and anything else that has to do with your business and then the seventh and last thing that you're going to want is a website now I say a website, this is optional. Piece of advice would probably be to get yourself set up, start making your first few sales and things like that. Then once you have some money to go ahead and make a website, you can go and make a website. All this does is gives you credibility mostly for the people that are looking at your business, um, namely the suppliers that you're trying to sign up with. If they go ahead and Google your business name from your application, you'll at least have an online presence. And again, it just goes to giving you credibility towards being a professional business. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. This has been the step-by-step -step guide in order to create your very own Amazon business. If you guys like my content, do not forget to smash that like button. Let me know down in the comment section below what issues you're having, if any, getting your account set up, getting your email address set up, your legal entity, all of those kinds of things. Also, do not forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell. That'll let you know every single time I put out a new video. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and take care.